ahí están entrando los equipos iniciales todo eso es dentro del panteón todo se hizo dentro del panteón ahí está el sarcófago ahí están oficiales, tropas de la guardia presidencial liderizados allí por el vicepresidente Elías, el ministro de interior Tarek, la fiscal general científicos de España de Venezuela que tienen meses trabajando este proyecto ahí están adoptando el dispositivo para abrir el sarcófago todo se hizo con respeto venerable infinito, es el padre de la patria es el padre Bolívar traicionado vilipendiado expulsado de la patria murió llorando murió solitario una de sus últimas frases ¿qué puede un pobre hombre contra el mundo bueno, ahora no está solo padre aquí estamos nosotros aquí estamos tus hijos y tus hijas ahí está el vicepresidente Elías abriendo el sarcófago momento de mucha emoción muchísima emoción General Bolívar's cause is the cause of the people. It is the cause championed by the leaders of the new republic. Let us instruct the people with our debates. After Bonaparte's coronation, Bolivar and I traveled at close quarters and in intimate friendship through much of France, Italy, and Switzerland. At times we would go on foot, and at times by diligence. In Rome, we stayed quite a while. One day, after luncheon, when the sun was already leaning westward, we set out in the direction of the Holy Mountain. Though these so-called mountains are nothing but low hills, the heat was so strong that we exerted ourselves sufficiently on the walk to arrive breathless and perspiring heavily at the highest point of the protuberance. Once there, we sat down upon a block of white marble the remains of a time-worn column. I was absorbed by the young man's posture because I could perceive in it a certain air of great preoccupation and deep thought. After resting a while and catching his breath, Bolivar, with a solemnity that I will never forget, stood up and, as if alone, looked to all points of the horizon and through the yellow beams of the setting sun, his bright, penetrating gaze swept the prospect. So Oh, mm -hmm. 
Then, turning towards me, his eyes damp, his breast thudding, his countenance flushed with a feverish spirit, he vowed before me, he vowed before the God of his forefathers, he vowed before them, he vowed by his honour and he vowed by the fatherland. <laughs> 